Hi guys, look Puck here and welcome to another FIFA 19 video and today I'm going to be reviewing the 87 rated UEFA Europa League team of the tournament, Olivier Giroud. His card looks pretty interesting, I was actually able to pack this guy yesterday in the live pack opening I did, I actually opened all my saved packs. Got a few walkouts, Harry Kane, Benucci and obviously this Olivier Giroud so it was kind of worth it and uh, now I can actually start saving up for team of the season which is going to be pretty awesome but yes, um, free cards, one of the like lower rated cards in terms of value uh, released from the team of the group stage and um Sorry, team of the knockout stage. He goes for around 40,000 coins on Xbox, and I'm guessing probably a little bit cheaper on PlayStation. All games were played in foot champions. Listen to this. Five games, eight goals, and zero assists, and a freestyle weak foot, as well as freestyle skill moves. And they also had the Hawk Chem style applied to this Olivier Giroud. Now, on the face of it, when you look at like his shooting, and you look at his physical, um, his heading, and even some of his dribbling stats, he actually looks... Okay, I mean, but at the same time, his pace, his stamina, his agility, his balance look uh, terrible. And a lot of you might be thinking, why did you take him into foot champs? Well, uh, obviously, I want to try and play as much of my foot champs games as possible to try and obviously get more packs and stuff like that. I had a shocking start. I was one and five. I'm like five wins and six losses now, something like that. So I'm definitely playing a lot better. Still not. Um, fantastic, but definitely playing to a better standard, which is good because it was a very. Um, surprising start to go one and five it was just it was a bit embarrassing but um yeah th this guy was fantastic i don't know how he got eight goals in five games it was just absolutely insane his long shots are absolutely brilliant and actually his finishing in general is going to be his first pro his finishing was absolutely phenomenal 91 finishing 91 positioning uh 96 shot power as well and with that whole chem style he goes to 99 positioning as well as 99 shot power also up to 99 volleys and 99 penalties um, his long shots are only at 81, but I think his long shots felt so good just because of how good his finishing and how good his shot power was. It made his feel like it, it made his long shots feel better than 81. Um, I'm pretty sure he might have scored me one or two goals from outside the box, but also his finishing goes up to 96, which is fantastic. And he just buried a lot of chances that I had with him. If not, the goalkeeper makes some good saves and stuff like that. I think you can only expect so much from like a 40,000 coin card at this stage of FIFA. You can't really expect him to play like a prime icon moments card. You can't expect him to play like uh, the inform Aguero that I partnered him up with you can't expect that but one thing i will say is you've got to play this man in a two-man attack and the thing is he worked for me a lot better in a two-man attack with sergio Guerrero because they're two completely different players you think of sergio Guerrero as a really quick agile player has got a lot of pace natural finisher Giroud sort of a natural finisher um very slow um but at the same time big strong player you know Aguero lacks in strength Giroud's got that so they were able to really link up with each other really well and actually also some of Giroud's passing stats are pretty decent he didn't get me any assists but actually you know that 88 short passing and 86 vision allowed him to link up pretty nicely with the likes of uh Sergio Aguero in a two-man attack so for me you've got to play him in a two-man attack in my opinion he'd struggle up there in a one-man striker formation because then you're relying on wingers to, to cross balls into him and actually I didn't think his heading was fantastic I say that, I never really provide as many crosses to him. Maybe it's because of the formation that I'm using the 4 triple 2 Maybe it's not a natural formation to provide crosses and stuff like that. But um, I don't know. I have no doubt, actually, that probably inside the box. I mean, what's his height? Six foot four, same height as me. So actually, he probably would be pretty decent um, when it comes to crossing. Maybe that's something that I should have done a little bit more because his jumping with the whole chem still goes to 99 and his heading accuracy remains as well at 99, which is absolutely fantastic. Maybe I didn't abuse that much. Maybe I should have done that. But uh, no, finishing overall was very good. And then obviously his strength for being the second pro, 93 strength that goes up to 98. His aggression goes up to 90 as well. Really, really strong player because he lacks so much in pace. And his pace is bad in game. It's not the worst of the views. It's it's better than that hero Fernando Lorente's card. Imagine having those two in the same team. He's got like 35 picks or something like that. But um, yeah, because he lacks in pace but his strength is absolutely insane because it does feel like that and obviously combining it with the height of six foot four he's really good at being able to muscle players off the ball and stuff like that so he can get into dangerous areas so he can you know provide chances for like aguero and stuff like that so uh strength wise absolutely fantastic we will touch on the cons he does feel clunky i'm not gonna sit there and deny that you know 60 agility and 57 balance is obviously very bad should i maybe put a cam style to increase those yes but most cam styles don't really increase agility and balance by too much even if i was to increase his agility to like 70 or his balance to like 67 it still wouldn't make him feel that much better so instead i wanted to try and focus on increasing that shooting to make it the best it possibly can be as well as strength and even increasing that pace a little bit just to make it a little bit more um better for me but yeah in game his pace is pretty terrible um having said that though he got me eight goals in in five games and he helped me turn around a really poor start to my weekend league 
to actually play pretty decent, and I think he'd be pretty awesome to actually use in like a fun squad, especially if you're like a Chelsea fan or something like that. There's a lot of awesome Chelsea players that have been released recently. You know, you can definitely fit him into a team. Would I fit him into my main team? Probably not because you got that 65 stamina as well, but I think to fit into like a bit of a fun team and stuff like that to use in like just regular division rivals or something like that, I actually think he'd be pretty awesome to use, but uh, yeah, anyway guys, that's going to finish off this video. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you guys later.